Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad here with another video and there has been some major updates. Um, I missed this mail as it came out, obviously 10 hours ago, and if you caught my Pompeii stream, you heard me gushing about some of the changes, but we're going to go through this together and discuss everything that pops up on it. First off, since the large, uh, launch of various large scale cross regional events, we've received a lot of positive quotes positive feedback from commanders here we shall answer some frequent questions about these events and explain their upcoming changes question when will island raid return it will return on 325 which is 16 days from now just over two weeks and it'll run and be open for registration once every two weeks question regarding dark seal more and more commanders are choosing to leave the checkpoint three area to skip the event are there any plans to adjust the event we plan to take down and revamp Dark Seal. The event will be taken down after the 316-317 run ends, which is next week's Dark Seal. Look forward to a brand new event format. Question. Cross-region event requires significant investment and can be challenging for players to participate in. We've noticed this as well. We'll adjust the base rescue rate and crisis aid healing rate for Island Raid and Archipelago Raid in the next update, meaning they're not going to do anything for the fighting during the event, but they will give us our troops back at the end of it. Uh, crisis aid healing rate is around two thirds of your troops get back for free, uh, so long as your allies are helping you. And the base rescue rate is about the same for troops that die. Um, currently, that can be debilitating for a lot of free to play players because let's say you lose a million troops in combat, whether it be to your hospital or to death, you're only getting two thirds of those back. Um, that can be a lot for people to have to deal with. Archipelago Raid is highly competitive but does not offer sufficient rewards. In the new version, we'll introduce a seasonal shop. You can participate in Pompeii, Island Raid, and AR, and other events to earn merit. They exchange them for items in the seasonal shop. We'll also continue to adjust the reward mechanism in future updates to make it more rewarding. Meaning... You get points for participating in these events that we've already discussed are having problems with people not wanting to participate. So giving us incentive to participate in something that we're complaining is rough for us to participate in seems a little counterintuitive, um, but it'll depend on how much of a change they make here to crisis aid and uh, rescue rate. Regions where armaments are still locked and countered alliances with armaments unlocked in Archipelago Raid. We'll adjust the unlock requirements for armaments so that they'll unlock when your Federation's history is greater than 28 days and your shelter reaches level 24. Additionally, Island Raid and Archipelago Raid will gradually start after the Federation history reaches 28 days. So no more regions that ha basically regions that don't have armaments unlocked won't be able to participate in those which honestly shouldn't have been a thing from the beginning um regions that early shouldn't be trying to participate in cross-region events when they're still working out the kinks in their own alliances back home um so if that was the case for some of the newer regions i apologize that's gotta be rough but I don't think this is going to do anything to fix the actual problem there. Um, because I can guarantee you that question was not regions where armaments are still locked and countered alliances where armaments are unlocked. Um, it's armaments being on people in alliances in younger or in younger regions being up against people who don't even have level 24 shelters to begin with um because you can get whales down there and those whales can still use their armaments and if it locks them till the 28 day point sure that'll be a huge nerf to even whales but 
again, you're still going to have situations where people don't have level 24 shelter after that 28 day period. And then they're going to get an island raid, an archipelago raid, and be up against people who do have armaments and level 24 shelter, and in some cases, tier 6 troops. But what other adjustments or optimizations are there for the large scale cross region events? Um, yeah, no one's asking that question that point blank. Um, apart from the return of island raid, we're adjusting the frequency of cross river events. Archipelago raid will want, run once every two weeks. Recovery of Pompeii will run once a week. Hold on. Registration opening on Mondays and battles happening on Tuesdays. What? They're... They're... Um, they're okay, first off, Archipelago Raid's next round is going to start on 317. That is eight days from now. Less than eight days, because it's currently the night. Um, what? If you've seen G1 and G2 right now, they have been through a lot. Granted, they're spenders. They can probably handle it. But not all of them are spenders. And this AR has been brutal on some people. To say that there's going to be another one in less than a week, or at least the registration starting for it in less than a week, that is, that is rough. That is a lot. Um, recovery of Pompeii happening once in a week. Once a week, I'm all for it. But on Tuesdays, come on. At least when it's on the weekend, you can just set aside an hour of time to play on your phone and be done. There's a lot people work. That's why I hate Ant Pede being on Mondays right now. People want, to, people want to enjoy spending time with their family. I understand that. I have a family. I balance the time that I have with my family and with the game and with work. But if the, these events are scheduled while I'm at work, there's nothing I can do. Because I personally can't have my phone at work. But... Not everyone has that problem. So let me know what you think down in the comments of those two changes. Three, only the top 10 alliances in a region's alliance might ranking will qualify for recovery of Pompeii. That's not going to change much. Most regions, um, after they get to a certain point, have three to four main alliances in their region, and that's it. Um, that does open up some possibilities for people to bounce around um, different alliances for Pompeii events in order to set up specific teams or to have as many people participate as possible. Because in three alliances, you can have 360, 440 members max around that. About 440 members and you can split up. You surely you can get six to eight teams out of that of people that want to play Pompeii. Now, we welcome suggestions and opinions regarding the large-scale cross-region events, and we'll carefully consider and adopt them as much as possible. Um, this is the one I'm probably most excited for. If we get changes, positive changes to that base rescue rate and crisis aid healing, then I think that's going to allow low spenders to participate a little bit better. Um, of course, it's not going to affect anything if matchmaking isn't fixed. Um, but personally, I don't know if the rewards, the seasonal shop is a good idea. We will see when it comes out, what it's going to cost and how to get the rewards for it. And these two changes right here bother the absolute crap out of me. But again, we'll see how it plays out when they get launched. If you have any questions about it. If you have any concerns, please voice them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. But with that, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, signing off.